Have you ever wondered if the very act of observing the universe creates it? Sounds impossible, right? But what if the universe, in some strange way, doesn't truly exist until it's observed? This concept might sound like something out of a sci-fi novel, but it's rooted in discussions about consciousness and quantum mechanics. Some suggest that until we, as conscious beings, observe the world, reality as we know it doesn't fully form. Let's dive into this mind-bending idea that challenges our understanding of the universe. At the heart of this theory lies a question. Can the universe exist without an observer? Traditional physics might argue yes, but quantum mechanics introduces a twist. You see, in quantum theory, there's something called the collapse of the wave function, which essentially means that particles don't have a definite state until they are observed. It's like the universe is a giant question mark, waiting for someone to look at it to become real. Now, critics of this idea would say, wait, we've seen galaxies billions of light years away with telescopes like the James Webb, and those formed long before humans existed. How can the universe depend on consciousness to exist? It's a valid point, but this is where the concept of consciousness takes a turn. What if there's a distinction between human consciousness and a more fundamental, universal consciousness? The idea is that while human consciousness may not have existed billions of years ago, there could have been a larger, more intrinsic form of awareness, something that has always been intertwined with reality. This brings us to the mind-boggling concept of consistent histories. It suggests that our perception of history isn't as fixed as we think. When we observe something, it's like zooming in with a magnifying glass making one potential history solidify into a concrete reality, while countless other possible histories fade into the background. Imagine looking at the past through a microscope. As you zoom in, you collapse certain possibilities into one coherent narrative. Does that mean we can change the past? Not quite, but it means that our observation influences which version of the past we end up acknowledging. This might sound wild, but think about it. We already accept the strange behavior of quantum particles in the present. Why should it be any different when we apply similar ideas to the past? Some argue that the difference between the quantum world and the classical, everyday world might even depend on the observer. A being with a different perception of time could experience much more of the quantum world as their normal reality. While these ideas aren't mainstream physics, they help us explore the boundaries between what we know and what's possible. What is the line between the quantum and classical worlds, and where does it blur? Could our consciousness be the key to answering these questions? As we wrap up this journey into the unknown, the implications are profound. What if reality is only as real as we make it? This idea that we might play a role in shaping the universe simply by being aware of it changes how we view everything from the stars in the sky to the thoughts in our minds. Now, I invite you to explore this further. Join our Reality Creation membership for deep dives into concepts like these. We offer a free reality creation course, a blog full of mind-expanding resources, and much more. The links are below, and if you found value in this content, please consider subscribing and sharing your thoughts in the comments. What topics intrigue you most? With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.